Alright, this is just a quick tutorial on uh, keying in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, it's something that is really overlooked. I forget about it all the time. Um, so I thought I'd make a little video, if for nothing else, and just to remind me. Um, when you're using keyframes, okay, adjusting your position or scale or rotation or whatever, remember that you have several different style keyframes. Okay, like right here, the square, that's a hold keyframe. I'll do it up here. This is a, a Bezier or whatever it's called right there. But all you got to do to change your keyframe style, well, we'll take this first one here. If we just, if I leave it um, as a default, okay, it'll be linear. So when the scale is going from 100% over to here to 50%, it just gradually, gradually goes. Um, let me shut these off. Okay, from start to where it gets to where it wants to be. Okay, you can change that. You just right click on your keyframe and you change it to hold, which is a really handy one because that keeps you at 100% till you hit your next keyframe and then it drops you down to 50. Okay, um, there's all different ones. That hold one is, is one that really I forget about it all the time. I wind up putting another keyframe just in front, just in front of this one here to keep it at 100% and then drop it down to 50, and I can go through all that crap, and I remember, oh, you know, shit, you know, I could have used a freaking hold keyframe. Also, in your timeline here, you can work with your keyframes, which is very, very handy, okay? Just make sure you, you go here, where it says show keyframe, okay? And then your drop-down menu right here, which people overlook all the time. It defaults at opacity, okay? You drop it down, then you can do your motion. You can do your position, scale, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if you want to see your scale keyframes, you just click on that, and there you have it. There's number one, and here's number two. Okay, you can work on your, your keyframes. You can see what's going on, work on them. Um, you know, you can you can try different keyframes. If you put in that Bezier or whatever it's called, then you get the handles, so you can work on the, the flow of things. Um, it's really, these are things that people just always overlook. Also, in here, you can do your... your your speed, your, your time remapping. You just put on speed, now your yellow line here that most people see is your opacity to raise or lower that, now that's doing your time remapping. Okay, so you're fast forwarding or you're slowing down. You raise the line, you're increasing the speed, you lower the yellow line, you're lowering the speed. Um, these are all real handy little things that people always freaking overlook. Okay, just make sure you show keyframe things on it, work on your keyframes. Also, one other thing, you can, your display, you can show all your frames, okay? You can show just your head and tail, just the head. It defaults at head, show head only, okay? Um, or you can do no frames, just the name. So, that's a couple little tips. Hope it helps somebody out besides me. Alright, see ya!